How did Kid Cudi become financially free? We're gonna talk about that in this video. Starting off with some background, Kid Cudi born Scott Mascuddy is a well-established music artist who has been in the industry for almost 20 years now. During his time, he has had many adventures which include albums, acting, and investments. I still remember hearing Kid Cudi for the first time and immediately jamming out to him then till now. In this video, we will cover how much Kid Cudi has made from his different business ventures. Going into music, Kid Cudi has released 15 plus projects in his time in the industry. He has had six platinum songs as a lead artist with many of those songs averaging three times platinum. His hit song, Day and Night, is five times platinum. He also has been a heavily featured artist and has seen success there as well. He has had three platinum features which all have been over three times platinum. Combining how many times this man has gone platinum, Kid Cudi has done it 20 23 times throughout his career. Platinum songs make on average 1 to 2 million per year every year after they've been released, meaning that after 5 years of a song being released, it still makes 1 to 2 million dollars. This means that Kid Cudi is making roughly 34 million every year just from his biggest songs, and that's not even including the massive hype stages that he goes through with every release. This also doesn't even include touring, merchandise, and other related music incomes. His songs are timeless, and that reflects with the platinum records and the money behind them. Now going into acting, Kid Cudi has seen success both with movies and TV shows. He has been in over 10 movies and 10 TV shows as well. He most recently was seen in the popular movie, Don't Look Up. He has been seen on screen since 2009 and keeps rising with more important roles every time. He also had a documentary created around him for the Amazon original during 2021. From its newest movie, Don't Look Up, it is estimated that he was paid out around $2 million. He is no Leonardo DiCaprio yet making $30 million per movie, but he is working his way up to these bigger roles. I would guess that this was his biggest payout from a movie, but think about how many appearances he has had since 2009. Over 10 movies and 10 TV shows, Kid Cudi has gotten some big checks from acting. Let's go into investments. Starting things off, Kid Cudi is a co-founder in the music technology company Encore. Encore is an app that encourages artists to collaborate together, however they are primarily focused on bringing new experiences to fans. It is a way for artists to grow direct relationships with fans and create a more personalized experience. A quote used when talking about Encore is that they want to have fans feel like they're in the studio with artists. Kid Cudi is one of three founders for this company and they recently took on a first round $2 million seed investment from Battery Ventures which is a global investment firm. I'm very interested to see how Encore develops over time. Kid Cudi also launched his production company under the name Mad Solar. Mad Solar will be working on movies, shows, and music for Kid Cudi and other talents. Part of the company will be focused just on the music management side. One side will also just be focused on developing movies. The first movie to be released under Mad Solar is the horror movie X, which is a collaboration project with A24. It is set to release in March of of 2022. Mad Solar has a lot of potential to grow as a business with partnerships that have been created in order to be successful. They are working with A24 for the first movie and also being backed by Bronze Studios which provides legitimacy to what's coming. Kid Cudi is doing a big with his production company Mad Solar. Overall when talking about investments, Kid Cudi used his power throughout his time in the industry to build connections to allow him to venture off. He built relationships with software developers to build the Encore app. He built relationships with A24 to release a movie for his production company, Mad Solar. Kid Cudi understands the power of networking, which shows in his business ventures. In summary, Kid Cudi has been extremely successful in many industries. He has seen massive success in the music industry, with going platinum over 23 times. He has worked his way in as an actor as well to get bigger roles with every movie. He recently was just in the successful movie, Don't Look Up. Kid Cudi has also built up businesses like Encore and Mad Solar. What can you take away from Kid Cudi. The takeaway is to build a meaningful network. Kid Cudi has done that throughout his time in the industry and continues to do that today. Recently, he has been throwing parties in order to meet certain people in order to develop these relationships. That is how he got partnered with A24 and is now developing the horror movie X. Where can you go for networking? How will you present yourself there when situations occur? This all leads me to the question, what is next for Kid Cudi? I believe he will continue
continue to release music, I think that is something we can count on with him as he consistently provides new information for new projects. I see him growing as an actor more, I would love to see him get some main roles with big movies like he is starting to see now. I'm also very interested in to see how Encore develops. It is a cool concept and I want to see how they can get it running with artists. I will be seeing the first movie under Mad Solar and see how the production company starts off. Overall, Kid Cudi has been very successful in many industries and as he ventures out into bigger things, he will continue to be successful. And that is how Kid Cudi became financially free. I hope you found this video informational. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe as well as let me know who I should talk about next. These videos are meant to provide a takeaway that you can apply to your life. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one and have a great day.